welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So we just had this little thing arrive, the uh, 8 channel fly sky receiver. And that is a whole lot smaller. Yeah, that is a whole lot smaller than what it looked. <laughs> it's literally the size of my thumb. But uh, yeah, we'll get this unboxed. And uh, I think this one's going to go in the TRX4. So we'll have a good look at it and see what it's like installed. Right, this is uh, quite a different experience to the uh, normal Flysky receivers that just turn up in a packet. But we've got the actual receiver itself, and as I said, that is really small. Um, they've now moved away from having the bind plug to a bind button. Um, decent size antenna on it comes with a whole load of uh, Flysky stickers and I'm going to have to read instructions to see what on earth they are. Uh, they look like little probes, not sure if it's a voltage reader maybe, something along them lines, but uh, yeah we've got some instructions with it and everything. Um, certainly more more along the lines of uh, what you'd expect from a, a higher market brand now, um, but the price was still pretty cheap. I will put link in description below, but uh, I'll have a quick look at instructions and see how we get on with this. All right, just been digging around in bottom at box, and we don't only get one set of stickers, we get two. So it looks like Fly Skies uh, definitely uh, up the game on the packaging. Definitely uh, different to what I'm used to with Fly Sky. Anyway, we'll crack on. All right, well, we have some pretty straightforward instructions for binding it. Um, obviously you don't have a bind plug, so you just press the bind button down when you put power to it. And that puts it into binding mode. Uh, also mentions uh, if your transmitter's done a update and you're having trouble binding. Um, explains hold the uh, bind button for 10 seconds, so it gets it into update mode. And then proceed with your update from your transmitter as you would with the other receivers where... On those you have to use the bind plug between two different pins to put it into uh, update mode. Now uh, obviously on this one you haven't got the bind plug so it's all done via the button. Uh, a little bit more information telling you to set the fail safe on the uh, transmitter and everything before using it. Quite nice that it comes with instructions. Alright, let's see what else we can do. Right, so after a quick check through instructions, it looks like this is the, it says, BVD harness, so battery voltage detection maybe, um, and you connect the end of it to positive and negative on the battery, which is why I'm thinking voltage monitoring, um, but it says it'll only function once the new update's been released in September, so it's now October, so it's worth me having a look for that. Um, also mentions that the iBus terminal will be replaced by channel 8 after the upgrade. So, looks like we've got a bit of investigation work to do on this one. Uh, looks like it'll work from 3.5 to 9 volt. So it should work really well in TRX. Uh, it does mention it works with Paladin M Noble MB4 and MB4 Lite. Not seen MB4 Lite as yet. But, right, let's crack on see what it does. Right, first thing you need to do when you're setting up a uh, model on MB4. So, go in, choose your model as normal. So, you want to pick the one that you're working on. And then, go into System, Channel Number Definition, and select 8 Channel. Now, it's not worth you naming the model and anything first, because as soon as you select 8 channel, it's going to stay on the model you selected, but it's going to delete the binding, and it's going to delete the name of it and all the settings. So, make sure you set it to your 8 channel first, um, and then you can go into the uh, model name, set your name, and then go into the settings for binding. Uh, so... Binding. Set it to binding, and then you want to turn it on and hold the bind button down at the same time. 
So let's see if I can do this. So you power it on, hold it for a few seconds, let go, and then that's binding done. So see if we've. Yep. Yep, that's now connected and working. So, also got a whole load of other settings on this one. So, your servo frequency, drop that down to analog, else it'll be too fast for it, and you'll end up with servos jittering all over. Um, that's your output mode for your sensors and everything, your servos. Now the RX battery monitor, so I'm guessing when you fit that one you can then tell it to monitor external and that'll affect, I'm not sure if it'll affect that or it'll just show up under sensors. So it's possible it'll affect that readout, not that one or maybe both but we'll have to try that. Well, let's see what else we can do with it. So, right, quick conclusion. Well, first impressions, it's extremely small. Seems to bind and pair up and everything really well. The, uh, the options that it's got look quite interesting. After having a good dig around, can't see any new firmware for the Noble MB4 or for this receiver. And in the instructions and everything I can find online, it says that firmware update will be available in September. Well, it's now October, about halfway through. Uh, with current situation in world, I can kind of understand why stuff gets held back. But, there you go, the FGR8B. 8-channel eight receiver, but currently 7-channel receiver. Um, don't need anywhere near that many channels, but uh, we'll get it in TRX and see how it behaves. Thanks again for watching WTFRC Cars. If you like, like and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. And we'll see you again next time. Oh, yeah.